start with adding the background. Uh, since this is a video and I don't want to make this last forever, I'm not going to make a total 100% custom background. I'm going to make this nice and easy just for this tutorial video, uh, make it a little bit quicker and easier for everyone to learn from. Okay, so first, uh, now now we're at this stage, we have the background, the, the second background, which is going to be the background that's going to fuse in, so it makes it look even better other than just having the background left and the right with the solid background in the middle. So our concept here, we want first we want to go to the first layer, which will be the YouTube channel uh, design. Uh, we're just going to change this whole color to black. And we're doing this because that's what the background color is going to be. Like this gray here will turn into black once we have a background on top. I just left it gray so you can see it. Uh, as you see that little gap here between these two boxes, I'm actually going to bring that down into one. So I use the rectangle marquee tool again and I'm going to free transform this down like so. And we're going to do this for the video box as well. <clears throat> and then now we can add the basic uh, blending options to this top layer. Uh, so I'm just going to add an uh, outer glow which is going to be black just to give it like a, a shadow effect once the background gets on there. Uh, they usually start it off as screen so you want to put the normal so you can actually see it and as you see it smoothens it out. This top part um, we really don't need this but it's good to keep that there for the time being so we can work on the header part. Um, okay so now we want to go find our background. Uh, so as I said earlier I'm not going to make a total 100% custom background. I'm going to make this nice and quick and so therefore I'm going to hit up my wallpaper site I run which is yabwallpaper.com yab stands for yet another better wallpaper site since there's a million of them and uh, there's many backgrounds here a lot of them are iPhone wallpapers though I guess see there's 2500 of them but there is some fairly large desktop wallpapers um, I'm going to go with this Gears of War layout uh, wall background <clears throat> and I'm going to go with the biggest resolution that they can give me alright so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna use this as my main background I'll be able to use the whole image because it's fa fairly large so yeah we want to go select the background layer and then control plus V to paste that layer Alrighty, so we have that. So I'm just gonna bring this over because I want to get this guy in here, make him like the focal point of the layout. <clears throat> all right, so you see he's chilling there now. He's looking all gangster. All right, so I'm gonna actually duplicate this layer now because I want to put it on the right side. So now I have two layers. Uh, if you hold Shift and use the right arrow key, it'll drag that layer over for you pretty quick. So it's going to keep doing this. Uh, and then right there actually looks pretty sweet because it blends in the black for me already, which will make brushing a lot easier. So there we go. Uh, we have that. And then as you see, it's over here now. So we just grab a rectangular marquee tool and just remove it. Make sure you're on the layer, layer two. And there we go. Okay, so we're moving along here slowly but surely. Uh, if it was 100% custom background, uh, it'd still be working on the first step <laughs> so now we want to make a one for the middle so we do this by simply we could use the same image again but you're not always going to get the perfect to go behind the video player here because you see you're gonna get the characters in there with it so I'm not gonna go with that actually I am going to go with uh, let's see if I can find <clears throat> let's check out another wallpaper here see if I can throw it in the back uh, 
Actually, this one might work. We'll go with this Silent Hill. Uh, if it's a large resolution, and it is. So, yeah, I'll go with this. <clears throat> so now this is going to give that grungy effect in the middle. Uh, you'll see in a second. Copy. All right, so I'm going to paste it above the shape layer that I made, which is that gray rectangle in the back. I'm going to paste it over. I'm going to right-click it and go to Clipping Mask. This makes a clipping mask so it blends into that one layer. And as you see, now we have it coming together slowly, right? And as I said earlier, I want to make it blend into black, right? So what I'm going to do is go back to the shape layer now and make this black. All right, so now it's black. And I'm going to go back to my uh, clipping mask layer, and I'm going to start erasing it. I usually go with the, the 300. Uh, the, it's definitely good to use a soft round uh, when you're doing this, because as you remove it, it blends in nicely. So as you see, we have the video box. But we want to bring that up a little bit, because not everyone's uh, information box here is long so it might be short and it might cut off like right here and then you have a space of blackness right here but I guess it wouldn't really matter because uh, the tables will be black in this layout so we keep going around we keep erasing and erasing and then we have something like this right now alright let's try to zoom out here for you <clears throat> Alright, so the layout's like that right now. Uh, I'm still going to work on it, add some more tweaks. Um, uh, zoom in. And, uh, okay. Now we won't, what we want to do is go back to the shape layer. That was the middle gray background. Uh, blending options. We're going to put another outer glue on this, and it's going to be black. Remember to change it to normal. And we're going to make this opacity actually a little bit darker. Bring that up to 100%. Maybe the size out a little bit. And then that just makes it a little bit smoother. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we got this far so far. So um, let's start fixing up this background. Uh, Make a new layer above the both original background layers. And we're going to actually use the paintbrush this time. And we're going to use the soft round 300 again with black. And this will fuse in the background so it doesn't uh, just cut off. So you see, then you just go over here. And we want to do this up and down the sides too for people that have extremely large resolutions. So that the image just doesn't cut off for them. It fades out into the original background color, which will be black. And over here, it already fades out, but I'm just going to go over just to make sure. And okay, so now we have it coming together slowly. Um, let's just add some details. Uh, make a new layer above your clipping mask layer. And here, we're just going to make some lines. Just use white. Uh, we're going to change the blending mode on it. Oh wait, here one sec. I'm actually gonna change the setting. I'm gonna make it so it displays the like the full pixels. And if you hold shift, it makes the line go straight for you. If you don't hold shift, it'll go all over the place. But if you hold like once you press shift, it'll snap. You can do it on angles, and yeah. But anyways, yeah, let's bring it down. And we're gonna do this for the same side over here. This is just a just small detail. You obviously don't have to do this. I'm just doing this because I feel like doing so. And uh, usually, if you use soft light, it'll go in nice, as you see. So, so it just gives it that extra, extra texture, and you know, makes it a little bit better than just being a flat edge. So we have that now. Whoops. Soft layer. Okay. <clears throat> 